What's up? We're far. We're here at our makeshift studio in South London. And this is our break it down for our track, Technicolor. This is our next single, Technicolor. We wrote it between LA and London. We were wrapping up the album and we needed a more slow track for it. I found myself in LA just playing a little guitar lick and this chorus came about. Went to the studio the next day and put it down as a demo to send to London. Didn't listen to it for the first five times I sent it to him. <laughs> he was and like then, harassing me, like, have you listened to it? Yeah, have you listened to it? I swear it's good, I mean, it's like worth listening to. The song is one of those songs that like came together really, really fast. It was a matter of two days, I think. I was feeling pretty like down in the dumps. I sat down, wrote out uh, the Technicolor part, the, the main hook of it and got to the studio and added in the, the drums and whatnot. I wanted to do something a little bit more rhythmic just because it was such a such a calm, like quiet song. So it all started around a, a chord progression. Um. So that's like the main thing that the song starts with. But when he originally sent it, I thought, oh, it sounds cool and it sounds really like demo-y. So I obviously went in and like re-recorded it, which I've still got here. I re-recorded it like this, like a cleaner tone. Um, but then obviously we ended up going back to the demo because that was like the initial spark that like made the song feel like what it was. But it took a lot of like figuring out to, Tons. to end up going back to the original, which seems <laughs> to happen a lot. I like to write over um, vocal chops and just kind of like stagnant noise, just like random little weird sound effects. So I started the whole thing off with a guitar and then just a uh, vocal sample. I did a few more little things before I sent it off to London, some like really light kind of sparse drums because I just wanted to have like, it was such a slow kind of soft song that I wanted to give it a little bit more like a bump, especially with the verses because they're a little bit more, more rappy. Um, so I put in some drums and then Lennon tweaked the sounds afterwards. I added a little bit more like snap to the drums and layered them with some extra sounds. Um, but a lot of like the energy came from the original demo. So, because the structure of the track is pretty simple, it's just like verse, hook, second verse, hook. We weren't quite sure where to go after that, but we felt like it definitely didn't need more words because the verses are really wordy. So I had an idea to just go into a really sort of trippy, trippy thing at the end with no drums. And I put down these chords here. So it's like strings and this synth called the CS80. So at the end, <coughs> it goes into this. On top of that, you get um, <clears throat> this vocal chop that I found and um, chopped up, and I covered it in reverb, and it just is this really dreamy. Sounds know, like a little kid. Sounds like a little kid. It's just it's su super trippy. I mean, the track's called Technicolor, so we could take really it there. Nostalgic. Yeah, just like this with the, with the chop. And then there was some some um, backing vocals that Romeo had done on one of the hooks, which I dragged over to that section. Um, and it just like, helps bring it to life even more. <laughs> one final detail we did is I got a good friend of mine, Todd, a guitarist, um, to do some solo guitar lines. So there's here and there, there's a few little details, this kind of thing, just like spacey sound effect stuff. When I was writing the song over it, I was thinking like, when you feel lost, give up. And it just seemed like a really depressing thing to go under it, but I sang a bunch of like, kind of hopeful stuff. There's a lot of the song that refers to just my current mental state that I hope that a lot of people can kind of latch onto as something to relate to, just because I think everybody that is sad in their own ways and stuff like that really wants to kind of feel better underneath it all and they want to see color and they want to see the things that make life beautiful and whatnot. So I'm hoping that this song connects with a lot of people that are, are feeling that way and a lot of people who just kind of are trying to get through life. So basically the whole thing is just about, you know, the, the kind of handed down sadness from my parents, handed down like kind of, you know, mental things that go on in my head, but also just as a whole like seeing so, so many things in like a negative light and being able to come out of that and try to fix it and try to improve on it. A lot of the tracks on my album um, are really explosive and there's tons of parts, but this one we really focus on trying to keep it minimal. Throughout the process of finishing it, tried to add so many parts, extra drums, extra guitar, we ended up keeping it really simple. So that's just how the songs seem to connect the best. Um, and we needed a moment like that on the album because 
we had a lot of contending tracks that were real slaps in the face, like super wall of sound. So yeah, I hope you dig it. Um, this is Technica. Uh, damn, it's been a couple days. But fuck me up a dozen ways. <laughs> 